The Butterfly Pavilion is the world's only standalone invertebrate zoo dedicated to transforming the way we think about these critical animals. Invertebrates are responsible for making up most of the world's pollinators and oftentimes carry the weight of the world. And here to introduce us to some invertebrates are Sarah Triplett and Diane Mexker. Great to see you ladies and you've brought some friends with you. Yes, we have. Yeah, so tell me tell me who you have. So this is Katie. She's our Katie Did from Malaysia. She is a giant long-legged Katie Did and she is here to celebrate the month of Bugtober with us. Excellent. And now I'm going to have you transfer her to yeah. my hand. Hi, Katie. Yes, and have you tell us about um, the Butterfly Pavilion and some of the background, if you will. Sure. So Butterfly Pavilion is about 25 years old. And um, our mission is to celebrate invertebrates and teach people about the importance of them and, uh, you know, what they contribute to our ecosystems. Oh my gosh, she is incredible. She'll just keep going, won't she? she? Yep. Okay, let's talk about what a, 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 a zookeeper does at the Butterfly Pavilion. Sure. We have over 7,000 animals, so it is my responsibility to make sure that every single one is fed and healthy and well taken care of. Okay. And then this is Bugtober. Yes, it is. October, Bugtober. And yeah. so what's special about this month? So during the month of October, um, we celebrate Bugtober, and this year's theme is Masquerade. So we are looking at animals that dress up like we do during the month of October. <laughs> yeah. So this one, you can tell she looks like a leaf, and she hides really well in her trees. I can um, imagine. You could, where she lives in Malaysia. Just camouflage right in. Yes, All right, some other right. master illusionists you have here. Right. Who else did you bring? So You'll I'm have to look really closely at some of these because they do. They hide very carefully. They really do. So I also have She's attached. <laughs> she's great. A philium leaf insect. So she also looks like a leaf, even yes. though she's not really even related to Katie. Oh really? Um, yeah, but she's a type of stick insect or leaf insect. And okay. you know, she also just imitates a leaf. She She's very calm. Really still she's just, just been sitting up yep, here. You can even see the veins yeah. that look like it's it, it's a identical leaf, to a leaf. Amazing. You would never know. Okay. Yep. And then <laughs> She's wonderful. We also brought some mantises. So this is Lola. Okay. And she is. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's attached to you, I think. She, she, is. she just she wants to be held. Yes. I know. Yes. So we also have some mantises that look like a dead <laughs> leaf. So they look like leaves, but they're brown. This is Lola. And she was born at Butterfly Pavilion about a year and a half ago. Oh and she gosh. has now gone on to be a mother herself. And her baby is hiding in here. Oh She's just a little tiny. Oh my goodness. Mantis. Would you look at this? This is out of National Geographic, I'm telling you. It's pretty great. Huh? That is incredible. When you look at it, you would never know. Oh, I can feel her tickling me. <laughs> These are so great. Here, I'm going to hand this back to Absolutely. you. This is fantastic. All right, so um, uh, what else do you have going on during Bugtober? Anything else we need to know about? Yeah, absolutely. So in addition to all of these awesome animals, we actually also have a one-of-a-kind spider enclosure called Spider Pavilion, where you can actually walk among orb weaver spiders in their own enclosure in our Wings of the Tropics exhibit. It's super exciting um, and a chance to get up close and personal with some really incredible animals. Yeah, and I love that about the Butterfly Pavilion. You talk about getting up close and personal, being able to touch <laughs> them and really see them firsthand. It, look at her, she's shaking. This is great to see this. Um, all right, talk about trick-or-treating. You've got some indoor activities coming up? Absolutely. So every year we have um, our annual event, Bugaboo, which is actually an indoor trick-or-treating event um, where you can bring the whole family to enjoy candy stations, um, some awesome crafts, as well as full access to all of our Bugtober animals and exhibits. So really great chance to bring out the family for some fun, and that's on October 26th and 27th. You know, my mom used to take the boys out to the Butterfly Pavilion when they were younger, and I was so, so jealous because they just got <laughs> to see and touch all of the really cool animals and all the different things that you would never see in person. Really, it's a great place to come as a family, to take the kids, really get out of the cool weather and mm -hmm. visit uh, someplace unique, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And we are open um, daily, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., um, so you can come at any time like that. But October is the best time to come because we have all these special animals, mostly for just October only. No kidding. Mm -hmm. And fall break is right around the corner. Yep. So, mm -hmm. Sarah and Diane, That's thank right. you so much. And thank Katie, you. she's you just beautiful. How fun. <laughs> well, come visit the Butterfly Pavilion. It's open year-round from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And don't miss out. The last entry is at 4.15 daily. You can visit their permanent exhibits as well as their bug
October exhibits. Learn more about Butterfly Pavilion's permanent exhibits, other promotions and events, plus the important educational research they conduct at butterflies.org. You can also give them a call. The number is 303-469-5441.